after you came out of that tournament, eight minutes left or something like that, was it intended just to go to Alpi every possession? Yeah, more, more so. Um, we were trying to get in the ball. They were fronting a little bit, so we wanted to have some counters there. Uh, flash the guy for a high-low. I think Dylan Young was one. And just increase our angles to get in the ball. We felt like we were struggling to get it and get inside to him. But, yeah, we felt the end advantage and was obviously uh, working there. So I wanted to get it to him a little cleaner. How did you think the offense looked the tough for him? Up and down. Um, it's good when we get stops and get out and run and kind of equal opportunity in the half court. Um, just a little slow at times, stagnant at times. I felt like the ball was sticking, especially in the first half. Only had four assists and, you know, we didn't shoot the ball well. So that's part of it. But, um, you know, as I always say, the shots don't fall. You can guard and go get on the offensive glass. And we did that for 23 second chance points. I think 17 offensive rebounds. It was a season high for turnover, season low for assists and three point attempts. Is that a function of him not being out there either? I mean, it gets us organized and gets guys in their spots. I think um, you know, at times when the guy who's handling a lot is missing, other guys tend to hold it a little bit more and um, are out of out of their normal role. And so that may be a, may be a thing, but um, you know, I, I think that has something to do with it. But uh, we were also five for twenty-two from three in the first three quarters, so uh, that doesn't help. How would you assess Reed's minutes tonight? Good. I think. Um, you know, offensively, he's getting more comfortable and, you know, being more aggressive. Uh, defensively, it was a little tough on him. They were going after him. But for, you know, remember when he came in, basically for five or so possessions. And then we, you know, we're going to give guys a chance to guard. And um, once we see it's certain us, we can scheme up some things. And we did that after. So um, understanding what they're going to do in the NBA, go after him there. Offensively, I think he was fine. What? Besides obviously getting production and things were going a little haywire, just being able to just give it to a big man and take those scores, steady everybody, sort of settle things down. Yeah, always. It's a luxury I talked about last year, having out Brenda always dump it in and kind of slow it down a little bit. Now, um, you know, Brenda has some really good bigs, really good, good scoring bigs, and that sells the team all, all the time. So, um, yeah, you don't want to be just permanent based or relying on you know, pick and roll every time. It's great to have that option. Coach, is there anybody that you play with or play against that reminds you of Tari with the amount of energy and the way that he plays the game? I'm saying Kawhi was a guy coach and you know, young and does a lot of similar things as far as uh, disrupting, just being disruptive uh, and just taking the ball from people. Uh, Kawhi would be the only guy that I saw do it at a, that level. Um, but his instincts are great now. Uh, Energy is great and he gives you a spark every night. So, uh, whether you call a play for him or not, he's going to impact the game on the defensive end, on the offensive glass, uh, slashing, cutting, offensive rebound, shooting threes, and all, all around. So, uh, I would say Kawhi is one guy that he reminds me somewhat of.